Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and take your abode in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. shall be glad in your power and in your salvation he will greatly rejoice you gave him his soul's desire and you did not deprive him of his lips request for you anticipated him with blessings of goodness you placed the crown of precious stones on his head he asked you for life and you gave it to him length of days unto ages of ages Great is his glory in your salvation, glory and majesty you shall place upon him. For you shall give him blessing unto ages of ages. You shall fill him with the joy of your presence. For the king hopes in the Lord and in the mercy of the Most High, he will not be shaken. May your hand be found on your, all your enemies. May your right hand find all who hate you. You shall make them like a fiery furnace in the time of your presence. The Lord shall throw them into confusion in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. 
You shall destroy their offspring from the earth and their seed from among the sons of men, for they vented all their evils against you. They reasoned through a council they could not establish. You, for you shall make them turn their back among the remnants. You shall make ready their countenance. Be exalted, O Lord, in your power. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Aigus the Theos, Aigus the Skiros, Aigus the Thanatos, the Leucian Yamas, Aigus the Theos, Aigus the Skiros, Aigus the Thanatos, the Leucian Yamas, Aigus the Theos, Aigus the Skiros, Aigus the Thanatos, the Leucian Yamas, Voxa Patrike, Okia, Gio Paneva, Tikinin, Kiai, Kaisus, Eona, Stoneon, and Amin, Panagia, Dreas, the Leucian Yamas, Kiridas, the Martia Simon, Vespota, Sikoris, and Tasanomia Simin, Aigia, Episcopsi, Akia, Tasania Simon, and again, Don Matosum, Kirilason, Kirilason, Kirilason. Voxa Patrike, Okia, Gil, Pneva, Tikenin, Kai, Gaisus, Eonas, Tonayon, and Amin. Patrimon, Oentis, Uranis, I guess it is on a massu. El Fedu, Vasilius, who gained it of the Felimasu, Austin, and all capitis geese. Tonar, Tonimon, Tonapusion, Dossim, and Simeron, Kiafisim, and Dophilimataimon. Oz came in Safim and this of Iletis, Imon. Κι εμείς στην η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα του πατρός και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματος νυν και αι και στου αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy and by your cross protecting your new, your commonwealth. Glory to the Father and to the Holy Son and the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community which, to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theodokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and truly are blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for pious and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Father and uh, Bishop Sava. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, who gave the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, and life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. <clears throat> Vox and Nimsis Theokia, Pigis, Sirin, and Anthropis of Lokia, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among men. Kyrie ta hili mo anixis keto stoma mo na igilita na nesimsu. O Lord, you shall open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for, you have, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. <clears throat> I roar because of the groaning of my heart. 
O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and, and my near of kin stand afar off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who, speak, who seek evil for me speak folly. And they meditate on deceit all the day long, but I, like a deaf man, do not hear. And I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Lord, not, let not my enemies rejoice over me, when, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are, be, and are become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good or good slandered me because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I, I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as with marrow and fatness, and my youth shall sing praise to you with lips fill filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, and your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword, they shall be the portion of foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, all who swear by him shall be praised, for the mouth, of, for the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. And I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 doxus your throes. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes were weakened. My eyes weakened with poverty. O oh Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your, arrow, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from corruption. Who crowns you with mercy and compassion. Who satisfies your desire with good things. Your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. 
For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes, for the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's children to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his, king to, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in, in strength, who do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication, your truth, answer me in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in darkness as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me, my heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I meditate on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face away from me, lest it be like, come, like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, to you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hopeful Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
righteousness, you that dwell on the earth. Λείψετε λαόν απέδευτον και νυν πύρτους επέναντίους έδετε Αλληλούια, Αλληλούια
Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. I with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put him to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas called Iscariot, who was of the number of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray him to them. And they were glad and engaged to give him money. So he agreed and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitudes. Then came the day of the unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat it. They said to him, What will you have us prepare it? He said to them, Behold, when you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house which he enters and tell the householder, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I am to eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found it as he told them, and they prepared the Passover. And when the hour came, he sat at the table and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, for I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I tell you that from now on I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup after, after supper, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But behold, the hand of him who betrays me is with me on the table. For the Son of Man goes as it has been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to question one another which of them it was that would do this. A dispute also arose among them which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And he said to them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. For which is greater, one who sits at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who sits at table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have continued with me in my trials, and I assign to you, as my father assigned to me, a kingdom that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like a wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brethren. And he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. He said, 
I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you three times deny that you know me. And he said to them, when I sent you out with no purse or bag or sandals, did you lack anything? They said, nothing. He said to them, but now let him who has a purse take it and likewise a bag. And let him who has no sword sell his mantle and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was reckoned with transgressors. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And who said to them, It is enough. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. And then they shall offer young bulls on your altar. No. himself a house from a pure mother who knew not man, for he put on the temple of his body. Christ our God has been gloriously glorified. <laughs> I'm Rosia Zei on the Sophia to Theu, Karna Krati Rapistis, Rosetta Menevsevoi, Javoi Some, and Oxos and Oxas, Christos Theos, Emos. Now and ever and to the ages of ages, Amen. Let us listen, all we who believe, as the uncreated and innate wisdom of God is calling from the highest point in town. For he is shouting, taste and see that I am good, and owing this call of Christ our God has been gloriously glorified. The Red Sea was cut by a rod that was cut, and it undulating deep went dry. 
the same became passable for those who were unarmed and a tomb for those in full armor. The former sang an ode that was pleasing to God. He is Christ our God, and he is greatly glorified. Lord, the fallen creator and God who you were, and as such impassable, yet you became poor and united our created nature to yourself. And you, the Paschal Lamb itself, offered yourself to those for whom you were to die, saying, Eat my body, and you will be established by faith. <laughs> Both now and ever and to the ages of ages of and senseless is the man that traitor among you. You foretold to your disciples, O unresentful Lord, he will not know these things, and being of whom he will not understand. But you abide in me, and in you will be established by faith. <laughs> Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our God. For you are our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You were humble in your great compassion, and you washed the feet of your disciples. And by this you set them straight on the course of God. Although refusing initially to be washed, Peter submits and obeys the divine command and is washed by you, and now he entreats you earnestly, beseeching that great mercy be on us bestowed. And to the ages of ages, amen. Master, as you ate a meal with your disciples, you informed them mystically of your all holy sacrifice, by which you saved us from corruption. We duly honor your venerable suffering. Christ, I 
κρατέαν αγάπη συνησίων Πάτερ Κύρμων των μονογενήγιων γαραγατέ φύλας μόνης των κόσμων απέστειλας. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, voluntarily going to your passion, the source of this, pa of this passion for all of Adam's descendants. O Christ, O Christ, to your friends you said, I have desired to share this passion over you. For my Father sent me his only begotten Son to the world as an, as an atoning sacrifice. Doxa Patricia, io che io pneumati, metalarvanul kratiros, τις μαθητές ευώσαν θάνατε, για νήμαν τον σαμπέλουδε, φύομαι λοιπόν, ουκέτη με θυμούν βιωτεύον, τον μόνο γερήν επεμέλασμον, ο πατήρης των κόσμων απέστειλε. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. I tell you in my kingdom, I will drink a new drink beyond description. Christ, you said to your friends, for then I shall be with you, God among gods. For my Father sent me his only begotten Son to the world as an atoning sacrifice. When Habakkuk the prophet foresaw your ineffable mystery, O Christ, he proclaimed prophetically, you have shown a strong and mighty love. O compassionate Father, for you, O good one, sent your only begotten Son to the world as an atoning sacrifice. Ο συνδέσμος της αγάπης συνδεόμενη η Απόστολη των δεσπόζων και των όλων εαυτού Χριστός αναθέμενη ωραίους πόδας εξαπενίζοντο ευαγγελιζόμενη βάσιν ειρήνη. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who controls the lofty and uninhibited water in the ethereal sphere, and who bridles the abysses and restrains the seas, the very wisdom of God now pours water into a basin, and the Master washes the feet of his servants. Αν είχε αεί και στους αιώνες των αιώνων αμήν μαθητές υποδειχθεί ταπεινός αιώς ο δεσπότης τύπων ο νεφέλες δε των πόλων περιβάλλον ζώνη τελεόντιον και κάτι γόνι δούλων εκκλίνας πόδας ο γεντυχηρή Once the apostles were connected to each other with the bonds of love and had devoted themselves to Christ the Master of all, then he washed their beautiful feet so that they might preach to all the gospel of peace. Αμαρτημάτων εκκύκλωσέ με και τον κλείδο να μην και φέρον όσο Ιωνάς τον δεσπότη βόση εκταράζ με αναγκαγέν. The lowest depth of my sins has encircled me and no longer able to endure the storm. Like Jonah, I cry to you, the Master, bring me up from corruption. 
Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. He who is not dirty does not need washing, not even of his feet. And you are clean, O my disciples, but not all. For one of you is inclined to undisciplined insanity. The lowest depth of my sins has encircled me and no longer able to endure the storm. Like Jonah, I cry to you, the Master, bring me up from corruption. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Receiving the bread in his hands, the betrayer in secret extends those very hands, receiving from the priest the price of him who had fashioned mankind with his own hands. And he remained incorrigible, Judas the slave and the knave. Judas the slave and the knave. As we all draw near with fear to the mystic table, let us receive the bread with pure souls, remaining beside the master that we may see how he washes the feet of the disciples and dries them with the towel. And let us do as we have seen, being subject to one another and washing one another's feet. For Christ himself has ordered this as he declared it before to his disciples. But one did not listen. Judas the slave and the knave. Judas the slave and the knave. On this day, the 13th of the month, we commemorate our father among the saints, Martin, the confessor, Pope of Rome. He that exultantly ate thy flesh, O Savior, even Martin, stripped off the flesh and exalted. On the 13th, far-famed Martin died. On this day, we commemorate the bishops and confessors of the West who suffered martyrdom with St. Martin. Now are these consecrated men who think rightly condemned to exile and accept it right cheerful. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Maximus, Quintilian, and Datus of Dorostulum. Who are these lying here without heads on their bodies? Quintilian, Maximus, and Datus the martyrs. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr Eleftherios of Persia. Eleftherios was not the thrall of error, but before the sword's edge, he stood as a free man. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr Theodosios. In no wise swayed to offer a gift to the gods, Theodosios is given a dose of the sword. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr Zelos of Rome. When wounded upon a tree, O Zelos, with arrows, thou woundest him that by a tree brought in corruption. On holy and great Tuesday, the godly fathers who have arranged all things well, received from the divine apostles and the sacred gospels, and in, and in turn handed down to us that today we should celebrate four things. The sacred washing of feet, the mystical supper, that is, the tradition of what we, now, uh, what we know as the awesome mysteries of Holy Communion, the high priestly prayer, and finally, the betrayal itself. In the evening, God washed the feet of the disciples. His own foot once walked before dusk in Eden. Double supper, it, is, it has the law's Pascha, the new Pascha also, the Lord's blood and body. You pray, the terror is the blood on, on your forehead 
As though you were, beg you were begging to be spared from dying, O Christ, by this you deceive the deceiver. Why, swords and clubs, O deceivers of the people, he is willing to die for the world's redemption. By your ineffable compassion, O Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. setting evils in motion, looking for an opportunity to betray the judge to be convicted, though he is Lord. He is Lord of all and God of our fathers. <laughs> For him, both now and forever, into the ages of ages, amen. For him, who in his presumption has dipped his hand in the dish with me, it would have been better if he had never been born at all. Thus was he identified by the God of our fathers. In Babylon, the servants did not cringe at the furnace fire, but when cast in the midst of flames, they were refreshed and sang the hymn, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. No more patroni macaristi, I'm Vavilloine, Procidine Vondes, Vasile Vondos, Cateptisan, Prostagisa Logisum, Yasini Meniu. Glory to you, our God, glory to you, having devoted themselves to the word in Zion, the apostles and blessed banqueters followed close upon the shepherd like sheep and being joined to Christ from whom they were separated not. They were fed the word of God and gratefully cried out, sing a hymn to the Lord all you works 
and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. He took in his right hand the holy body, the remedy for sin, and the divine blood that was being poured out for the world. He who was devoid of conscience, and he was not ashamed to drink what he had sold for a price. He abhorred not the evil, and knew not to cry out, Sing a hymn to the Lord, all you works, and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord, braving all danger for their ancestral laws. The blessed young men in Babylon spied disdainfully upon the king's unreasonable decree and being joined to the fire by which they were not consumed they sang a hymn worthy of god the ruler sing a hymn to the lord all you works and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages the Theotokos and the Mother of Light, let us magnify in song. The Logos said to his disciples, Go prepare the Passover meal for you, whom I initiate into the mysteries. In the upper room where the mind is established, with the unleavened word of truth, and magnified the staff of grace. <laughs> As I am human in essence and not in more appearance of the nature, united to me is divine. By way of exchange, therefore recognize me to be one single Christ, preserving the properties of man, properties and in which nature I consist. Come, believers, let us enjoy the Master's hospitality and immortal table in the upper room that is in elevated minds and learning a sublime word from the word we magnify him. 
in peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever most Virgin holy, Mary, Theotokos, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
και δυναστείε αυτού ερείτε αυτόν. Κατά το πλήθο τη μεγάλο ξύνη αυτού. Συντρέχει λοιπόν το συνεδρίο των Sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Judas the transgressor, who at supper dipped his hand into the dish with you, O Lord, lawlessly extended his hand to receive the money. And he who calculated the price of the ointment was not afraid to sell you the priceless one. He presented his feet for the master to wash, and he kissed with deceit to betray you to the lawless. Thrown out from the company of the apostles, he cast down the thirty pieces of silver and did not see your resurrection the third day through which have mercy on us. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Judas the deceitful, deceitful betrayer betrayed the Lord and Savior with a deceitful kiss. He sold the master of all to the transgressors of the law, as though he were but a slave. But the Lamb of God followed like a sheep to the slaughter. As the Son of the Father, the only very merciful Lord. Praise Him with resounding symbols. Praise Him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Judas, the servant and the frauder, the disciple and betrayer. The friend and detractor was proven by his deeds. He followed the teacher, and privately he plotted the betrayal. He said to himself, Once I betray him, the collection money will be mine. He had wanted the costly ointment to be sold, and he plotted that Jesus be arrested through a ploy. He gave him a kiss and gave up the Christ, who followed like a sheep to the slaughter as the only compassionate Lord who loves humanity. Mm, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both 
now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. He whom Isaiah proclaimed to be the Lamb comes to his voluntary slaughter. He gives his back to whips and his cheeks to blows. He turns not away his face from the shame spitting. He is sentenced to a shameful death. The sinless one willingly accepts it all so that he might grant to all the resurrection from the dead. To you belongs glory, O Lord our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, Only Begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you are the only Holy One, you are the only Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I shall bless you and I shall praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become, become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the source, the fountain of life, and in your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this day we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us for just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs a hymn, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O for that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Pray. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. 
For you are the God of mercy and compassion and love of mankind. And to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. All keeping watch over all the creation. To you, have vowed the neck of our soul and body, and we beseech you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. And as you are a good and loving God, pardon us if we have sinned in anything voluntarily or involuntarily, granting us your, earth, your blessings both of this world and of the world above. For yours, there is just for mercy and save us, our God. And to you, we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Today the evil council against Christ has gathered together, and they plotted vain things against him to deliver him to Pilate and put him to death. Even though he is in no in innocent, today Judas has been has put the noose of money around his neck, and he deprives himself of life and both temporal and divine. Today, Caiaphas, is not of his own accord, prophesies and said, It is expedient that one man should die for the people, for he came to suffer for our sins that he might free us from slavery to the enemy. As he is good and loves humanity. Question Artus Muemegalinet Ripti tati mia, nin 
He went forth and spoke the same. All my enemies whispered together against me. Against me they devise evils for me. Your behavior is full of deceit, O Judas. You transgressor of the law. Sick with love for money. You gain for yourself a hatred for humanity. You were enamored with wealth, so I become the disciple of the one who teaches about poverty. Because you loved him, then why did you sell him the priceless one and deliver him over? To a bloody death, shudder, O sun, groan, O earth, quake and cry aloud, unresultful Lord, glory to you. They testify a lawless word against me. Since he is asleep, he will, ri will he rise up again. Let no one, no believers, let no one uninitiated dare to approach the table of the Lord supper deceitfully like Judas. For when he received the morsel, he turned against the bread. In appearance he was a disciple, but in reality he was there as a murderer, rejoicing with the Jews while keeping company with the apostles, hating he kissed, kissing he sold the one who redeemed us from the curse, O God and Savior of our souls.
It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Na, na. Lord, you were struck on the of the human race and we're not enraged free our life from corruption and save us now and ever into the ages of ages amen lord you were struck on behalf of the human race and were not enraged free our life from corruption and save us. 
Prokemenon mode one, Psalm 82. Let the Gentiles know your name is in the Lord, that you alone are most high over all of the earth. O God, who can be likened to you? Be not silent or appeased, O God. Wisdom. The, the reading is from the prophecy of Jeremiah. Let us attend. O Lord, teach me, and I will know. Then I saw their purpose. For I did not know I was like an innocent lamb led to be sacrificed. They plotted an evil device against me, saying, Come, let us put wood in his bread and destroy him root and branch from the land of the living, so his name might not be remembered any longer. But, O Lord, you who judge righteously, who tests minds and hearts, let me see your vengeance on them, for I have revealed my righteous plea to you. Therefore, thus says the Lord against the men of Anathoth, against those who seek my life and who say, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, lest you die by our hands. Behold, I will visit them. The young men shall die by the sword, and their sons and daughters shall die by famine. There shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring calamities on the inhabitants of, of Anathoth in the year of their visitation. O Lord, you are righteous, that I may plead my case with you, to speak to you concerning judgments. Why does the way of the ungodly prosper, and all who deal treacherously flourish? You planted them, and they took root. They bear children and are fruitful. You are near in their mouth, but far from their mind. But you, O Lord, know me. You have proven my heart before you, set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn and the grass of the field wither? Because of the, the vices of those who dwell in it, the cattle and the birds are destroyed because they said, God will not see our ways. Your feet run and grow weary. Gather together all the wild beasts of the field and let them come to devour her. Many shepherds destroyed my vineyard and defiled my portion. They turned my pleasant portion into an impassable desert. It was made a complete ruin, for thus says the Lord, concerning all the evil neighbors who touch my inheritance, which I divided my, to my people Israel, behold, I shall draw them away from their land and will cast out Judah from their midst. Then it shall come to pass... After I cast them out, that I will return them and have mercy on them. <clears throat> I will settle them each in his inheritance and each in his land. Prokemenon, Moed, Plagal, Second, Psalm 75. Pray and return to the Lord your God all around him shall bring gifts. In Judah, God is known, his name is great in Israel. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our Archbishop and Father Sava. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our brothers, the priests, the monks, the deacons, and the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians residing in the city, in the city the parishioners, members, council members, stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for our fathers, mothers, and brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep before us. Who here and who piously have been laid to pious rest as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present who wait your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father John just reminded me that two days ago I spoke about chickens. And uh, I told him that today I'm going to speak about lambs. And I wasn't joking, although it does sound a little bit funny. So please go to page uh, where the gospel reading was. Uh, 18. And here on page 18, about three inches down, you see that it says that Jesus at the Last Supper, he took bread, 
And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, that is the disciples, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And you know that they ate it. Who would eat somebody's body? Jesus is not talking like a human being there, even though obviously he will give his own life and his body will be sacrificed. But he's talking because he is the Lamb of God. John the Baptist, when he saw him, he said, this is the Lamb of God. And remember that this gospel reading happens during a very special meal, meal for any Jew. What kind of meal is that? Did you catch it? Passover meal. A Passover meal. And you notice that during the Passover meal, they had to eat unleavened bread. They had to eat lamb. They had to drink wine. And to this day, Jews, when they celebrate Passover, obviously they have all these elements. Why? Because of something that happened in what we call the Old Testament, when Jews were enslaved in Egypt, and God sent his chosen one, Moses, to liberate the Jews from the Egyptians. And the Egyptians would not let the Jews go and worship in the desert. So God sent upon them ten plagues. And the tenth one was going to be the death of the firstborn son in each family, animals and human beings. Raise your hand if you are the firstborn male in your family. <laughs> you see siblings sometimes looking at the older brother. <laughs> I, I am the first, first, firstborn male in my family, right? So, God told Moses that that evening, he would send an angel of death over the entire land of Egypt and all the firstborn males would die. But he told the Jews that if they did something special, their firstborn males would not die. So all of them are supposed to die, but Jews can do something to escape that death. And that something was to take the best lamb that they had in their flocks. It had to be a male lamb, and it had to be the best. It had to be perfect. Sacrifice that lamb in the evening and take the blood of the lamb and put it on the wood of the doorpost. So that then when the angel of death came throughout the land of Egypt, if the angel saw the blood of the lamb on the wood, they would not die. Some of you are smiling because you know I'm talking about something else really, even though we're still talking about the Old Testament. So the angel of death comes, and when that angel sees the blood of the lamb on the wood, that person does not die. Here are some more interesting things about that lamb, besides the fact that it had to be perfect. That lamb had to be eaten in a hurry. Why? Because the Egyptians were going to let them go, let the people of God go, and they had to go away and get enough distance before Pharaoh would change his mind. Because they're eating it in a hurry, they had to have the sandals on their feet, staff in their hands. They had to roast it over fire as opposed to boil it. They had to eat it with bitter herbs. And what kind of bread? Leavened or unleavened? It's unleavened bread. Because if you're making some bread, you cannot say... Honey, let's wait until the bread rises. No, because the Egyptians are going to change their mind. Let's eat it right now before it rises. We're going to put it in the oven and go. And we can also carry it with us. And so in the gospel reading that we're seeing today, we, say that, we see that in remembrance of them being freed from slavery into Egypt. Jews are eating the Passover lamb. Like a very good Jew, Jesus is doing the same. Like very good Jews, his disciples are doing the same. But something really strange happens. Because they're eating the flesh of the lamb, and yet Jesus also gives them the bread and says, Take it, this is my body. And so all of a sudden, 
we understand that Jesus is the Lamb of God. And that He is going to be sacrificed. Why? So that we could live. And that His blood will not be put on the wood of doorposts. It would be put on the wood of the cross. And we understand that just like the Paschal Lamb, Jesus is perfect sacrifice. And just like the Paschal Lamb, its bones were not supposed to be broken, Jesus' bones are not going to be broken, even though we're going to see tomorrow, two of the thieves that were crucified with Him will have their bones broken. And just like the Paschal Lamb was eaten with bitter herbs, so Jesus will say on the cross, I am thirsty, and they're going to give Him vinegar. And just like it had to be eaten in a hurry, so in a hurry they're going to take down his body after he died. And with his disciples he ate unleavened bread. In the Gospel of Luke that we read, although in the Gospel of John he eats leavened bread. So when we receive communion in the Orthodox Church, it is leavened bread. But our Catholic and Protestant sisters and brothers, they eat unleavened bread following the Gospel of Luke. And why do we eat the flesh? the body, just like the Israel, the people of Israel, to have life, to escape death, to escape slavery. We are not in slavery in Egypt, but how many of us feel enslaved by the sins with which we struggle, and we just cannot give them up? And Jesus comes to liberate us. And how many times do we wonder, where is my life going? And how meaningful is my life? And Jesus comes and says, through my sacrifice, I will give you life. So instead of remembering the exodus from Egypt, he says after he gives his disciples his body, do this in remembrance of me. This is a commandment from the Lord. We as Christians have, of course, the Ten Commandments. Like in the Old Testament, there are actually 613 commandments. But we also have this very deep one to us, and there are others as well, that the Lord Jesus gave us, his followers. Do this in remembrance of me. So from the earliest time of Christianity, we gather together to break the bread. Every Sunday, we break the bread. And tomorrow, we are going to celebrate the Last Supper. And tomorrow morning at 8.30, we have a service that will commemorate, that will remember exactly how it happened at the Last Supper. This is why we had this reading. So I invite all of you to come tomorrow morning at 8.30. Receive the body and blood of Christ, who said, do this in remembrance of me, so that we would have eternal life. Amen. Before we finish the service this evening, we will offer two prayers, the last Two prayers, the prayer of forgiveness and the prayer of anointing for the Holy Unction service. For those of you who have come for Holy Unction this evening, uh, after that we'll finish the service. And then while uh, there are hymns being chanted, you may come and receive the Holy Anointing. The last of the prayers of the Unction service is a prayer of repentance, asking God for forgiveness for those things that we have committed. And so we ask you to please, if you are able to, kneel. If because of age or illness you're not able to, please sit and bow your head. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord our God, the physician of our souls and bodies, it is you who soothes in chronic pains and heals every infirmity and malady of the people, who desires that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth and who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather he should repent and live. For you, O Lord, in the old covenant ordained the repent repentance for sinners, for David and the Ninevites, and to those before and after them, but also in the new dispensation of your coming in the flesh. You called not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Like the publican, the harlot, the thief, and the blasphemous persecutor, Paul the Great, receiving them all through repentance. Peter, your great apostle, denying you three times. You received in repentance and promised him, saying, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. For which cause, merciful and loving God, encouraged by your faithful promise, we pray and entreat you at this hour. Hear our prayer and accept it as incense offered before you. Visit these, your servants, and if they have trespassed either in word or deed or thought, night or day, if they have fallen under the ban of a priest, 
or under their own anathema or have sworn <coughs> by oath, we pray you loose pardon, forgive them, O God, overlooking their iniquities and their sins, committed them by them knowingly or in ignorance, and if they have transgressed your commandments or have erred and bearing flesh dwelling in the world or prompting of the devil, forgive as a merciful and loving God, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. For you alone are sinless, your righteousness is to all eternity, and your word is truth. For you have not created man for destruction, but for the keeping of your commandments and the inheritance of life incorruptible. To you we ascribe glory together with your Father, who is from everlasting, and your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Holy Father, physician of our souls and bodies, who sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal every infirmity and deliver from death, heal also these, your servants, from the ailments of their bodies and souls, and endow them with life by the grace of your Christ, through the intercessions of our all-holy Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honored bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honored glorious prophet and for Andrew and the Baptist, the holy glorious and all audible apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, our saintly and God-bearing fathers, the holy unmercenaries and healers, Cosmas and Damian, Cyrus and John, Samson and Diomedes, Mochias and Anikitos, Panteleimon and Hermolaos, Thalaleos and Trifon, and our holy and righteous ancestors, Joachim and Anna and the your saints. For you are our God, the source of healing, and to you ascribe glory to the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father, bless. He who is blessed, Christ our God, always, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, Lord our God, the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the Holy Church and this city forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and I hope glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. May he who in the washing of the feet of his disciples demonstrated the excellent way of humility through his surpassing goodness, even as far as condescending to the cross and the grave, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-mother, your holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious triumphant martyrs of the holy righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and on a Saint Martin of Rome, whose memory we celebrate this day, and of all the saints, for he is a good and loving God. Via fondona iun pateronimon kyrie eisu christeo theos eleison kesos May the Holy Trinity bless and protect you. Amen. Please be seated for